Hello, 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 and welcome back to Odd Sparks. I'm Evie Green Bottle, and today we've got a few things planned that we need to get done. So the first thing is this limestone is coming in. It's ticking along over here. So that should be this quest completed to get explosives. And the other one is these rocky sparks are coming in. So that should be completed as well for the divine researcher. And that's going to open up the spark workstation with a few more different kinds of sparks that we're going to be able to make. But one of the things that we are not currently automated and not making in a nice way is the stone wheels, the path tiles, and the stone plates. That stone area has gotten a little bit messy, so let's go over and see if we can sort that out while we wait for those other resources just to continue ticking along. All right, up here we've got... This is currently gathering stone, it looks like, which is good. This is making limestone, which means it needs more coral to be coming in. Ah, uh, the limestone is not going anywhere, because what is this currently making? Ah, it would be making path tiles, but we don't have stones coming in, because... Well, do you know what? Honestly, I don't know why. Because you two are holding the wrong item. So let's get those guys back here, because, yeah, they're just carrying slabs, which is not going to work. So if we get them back on there, now holding the correct item. There's also, like, so much random stuff in here. Alright. That's now making path tiles. Now, path tiles are great, but what else do we need? Path tiles plus the slabs make the stone wheels, and we are going to need to actually make those stone wheels. So currently, this guy over here is making the slabs. This is now making the stone tiles. If we build another stone workshop, then we'd be able to put the two things together to make the wheels. And we do need the wheels, so let's get some space cleared out and then hopefully if we get yeah all of this space cleared out, then we can actually make these things that we need. And we have so many sparks that we can carry, so clearing space out does not take very long at all. We can just kind of keep continuously throwing them out there. It's fantastic. All right, that's given us quite a bit more space to work with. So let's see, can we actually make a stone workshop now? Or are we missing some ingredients? We've got the loom, spark workshop, wood workshop, stone workshop. We just need some pebbles. And we have those in here, so let's just grab those out. Stone workshop. So we'll pop that in here, and then we just need the path going to the correct spot. So that path going in there, and then I think we can just delete that path. And then this path, let's change that. So it's going to be coming over this way instead. We'll go pick up these so that they're not on the ground. And then we just need a little friend to go in there. And let's make sure that this is making the correct thing. So stone wheels. Get that guy on there, and then... All right, all set. So that should now be making stone wheels, or at least it would if we had some crafty sparks in there building them. There we go. We are going to need to go grab some carry sparks because we are completely out of carry sparks. And then we need to drop these off somewhere. Taking a look at our quests, who needed these? Because we might need to build out oh, the merchant, and that's going to be able to make fabric, which we are going to need. So if the merchant needs 200 stone wheels, 400 rope, that is a lot. We need to build them a delivery spot. But we are missing the etheric, not shards, not clumps. What's the one in between? We're missing that one. So we need to get five of those. We gotta figure out how to process these down because there is a way and I, I just can't sort it out. What is the way? How do we process those into the smaller pieces? Because I can't seem to find where you do that. And it's gotta be somewhere. All right, I've managed the teleportation for the first time, which is actually really handy. So that's cool, but and it looks like all of our limestone has been delivered and all the fertilizer to the mason sisters and the woodsmen so let's go check in on that quest and also i've got a bit of rope i'm just gonna drop off to the merchant as well and i've already put a bit of rope in here but there's a bit more all right at the woodsman we are ready to turn in this and get the understanding of the explosives so that's a job done aha it's in here okay so clump dividing this is now what i need so we need to swap this over for these let's get these in here all right i knew there was a way to do it i just couldn't remember what it was so let's get that guy on there these are now being divided up these are the things that we need for continuing on so we'll get those being made we now have enough of the pellets to start making the containers that we needed for delivery so let's head back over this way. Uh, we also need 400 rope, and I have a feeling that's quite easy for us to get. I mean, they are building rope here. If we built a storage for the merchant here, then they could get started on that already. So let's stick that in here. Let's get them to go into there. 
right, so back here. Oh my goodness, this coral grows back very quickly. We've already got coral kind of all over the place that we've cleared up before. It's good to know that it grows back though. All right, so now we just need to build another merchant delivery hut here. And if we build a path going this way and we get our carry spark on there, those wheels are now going to be getting delivered. We can help them out a little bit here because there's lots to do. All right, we've got our first 20 in. That's going to keep going. These guys are back to working. Everything along here should be going. The only thing I suppose that's actually missing. Oh, the stone doesn't seem to be coming in very fast for making these pebbles. No, no, it's fine, actually. We've got one guy here. It's just not very many. We are out of coral, though, and unfortunately, there's only this one spot for a drill here. I wonder, is there another spot nearby? If we look at the map, no, well, kind of. You need these giant rocks, but the closest next giant rocks are way over there. We could build like a little transportation line to bring them in this wing. We could be getting stone from this side, bringing it in and then switching this one over to the coral drilling. It's not the worst idea, but it's also, it's a bit far to go, possibly. I mean, we've got, of course, these that can shoot across. Let's just see how far over here it is. Ow! Knocked me down. All right, so they're way over here. It's not that far. In theory, we could teleport, or teleport, transport things across. Um, I wonder, do I have the materials I need currently to build a drill? No, oh, I'm just missing the stone plates. So I guess if we just go back, we could get them. Now, to, to transport these things over there, we would need a whole bunch of the cannons to shoot the items across the kind of gaps. So we would need enough to make three cannons to get across here. So it's not too bad, really. It is doable. Because otherwise we are going to run out of limestone. So we just need to find which of these things do we not need. If we need... If we need to build three of those cannons, then we need, yeah, 15 of those kind of horn things. Oh, add another shrine down here. Oh, this is the Puffy Spark Shrine. Uh, it's not currently in our range though, so we can just leave that one. There's also a thing here, but we're gonna need that one probably later. So let's just go back. Ah, I'm being attacked. I wonder if we can fight this thing. I don't know. Rocky terrain, because we need they can't actually hurt him. Okay, run away! Oh, we've lost so many. <laughs> okay, that was a little dangerous. What is that thing? Oh, it was sleeping. It's not sleeping anymore. Run away, run away. All right, we're back here though. We can make this a drill. We can set that drill up for gathering. I think the stone is fine. We need to put two crafty sparks in there. And then it's a matter of getting the cannons in place so that we can get everything across. Oh, uh, the only thing is I didn't bring any carry sparks, so we're going to have to go and gather some carry sparks, I suppose. But this path is now set up, so this is going to shoot it just to that spot there. Let's see if I can easily get there. I cannot. Of course I can't. Let's build some ladders up here. Ah, oh, I've run out of ladder. Okay. <laughs> then this is going to have to shoot across... Hmm. Ah, it's gonna have to go that way, actually. Right, some rearranging's having to be done because we couldn't get past over there. And so over here, I guess, let's grab some sparky guys and grab that stone so it's not in the way. Build a new path going here. So that's going to shoot across to over there. We need to clear up some of this coral as well. Okay, so that comes over to here. This is gonna need to build across here. All right, now we can get all the way over to here. And then where's the final spot? All right, the only thing we're missing now is the carrier sparks. So it's time to go get those. And I've actually figured out how to use this. Now this one doesn't get powered quite often enough. So we just kind of have to wait until it turns on and then we can transport over to there. There we go. So we've teleported over. Now we just need to go straight back this way. We need to get carrier sparks. Even like this area, they don't have carrier sparks yet. And we do need to go get those. So let's go fill our inventory up with carrier sparks. That way these stone wheels will now actually be processing because at the moment it's not getting any stone in because we've swatched this, popped the stone in to becoming limestone and the new stone is almost set up but not quite there. All right, why is this currently not getting anything? Because I do need the crafty sparks to be coming in. Crafty sparks are coming from this direction. Let's just follow this path back and figure out why it's not going. You are missing those guys. Oh, it's going to be because we don't have any of this. All right, that's now going again, so we should be able to get some carry sparks soon because, yeah, at the moment we don't actually have enough. Um, 
Let's go get these guys. All right, we've got our carry sparks, so let's grab those out. I've only got 13, so that was kind of a mess over there. We had got a bit of a hold up because we were running out of aether shards, so things weren't getting produced as quickly as they needed to, but got it sorted now. So let's just grab all these guys because, yeah, nothing's happening over here at the moment because, of course, they've run out of stone because it's not being sent across. So we need a couple carriers on each of these and someone just to carry the stone over there. Shot across, so he's going to take the there and shoot it across there. I think just the one guy is probably enough. Then these guys are going to come pick up that stone. I don't know if a third one on this is... Actually, probably a third one's fine because that guy only has a very short distance to go. These guys have a bit further. Then they're going to shoot it across here. So we launch ourselves across there again. And we've got these two guys over here going to grab that. It's such a far distance for them to travel, unfortunately. I'm going to do three on this side as well. It's still going to be quite slow, but I think three is a good amount. We should almost could use a fourth guy. Yeah, looks like it's a little bit faster. We could probably do four on here. And then these guys are shooting it across there where we probably want to have another person as well to go and collect that. And that does mean stone is now officially coming into these two spots slowly. Slowly, but surely. And we're just going to help them out by tapping those up for now so that that does start working again because we need to be getting the, what, another 112 stone wheels delivered, which is quite a lot of stone wheels, really. All right, the other part that needed to be fixed up a bit was these guys along here, because yeah, they were just the basic guys. It would be better to have proper carriers there. I only have the two though, but honestly, it's better than what was before. So at least it's gonna get getting double now. And they don't even need to be going this way anymore. We could probably get rid of this path. I'm not actually using this stumpy spark shrine anymore to really make these guys. I mean, we could, but I don't have any of the shards here. All right, looking back at our quests again, we've got the Rocky Spark still coming in. That is coming in extremely slowly. I think it's because it's just taking them a long time to get the spark, the stumpy sparks in and because it was using kind of the same thing as everything else. That's going very slowly, uh, but it is going. We haven't started working on the mayor's things for the path tiles and stone plates and the explosives, so that could be something we pivot to. But I'm thinking, oh, and there's also this one, the Quartermaster and the Mason Sisters about handling larger volumes of items. I mean, more storage would be fantastic. Big barrels, big crates, stone plates and path tiles. I mean, we could get that pretty quickly, I think. Uh, this one we haven't started yet. I think we need to get to the next area though. One single hauling spark though has been delivered on this one. We need 120, that is a lot. And I think for the hauling sparks, we needed stone wheels and we don't have stone wheels being produced on the side of where the hauling spark shrine is. So we're gonna have to work that one out later as well. The Fibercraft though, that is just about done. Those stone wheels are coming in and we haven't figured out how to get the rock terrain shells yet either. But that's like a whole other thing with the coal and the vial, with the wood fired and coal fired. We're not doing any of that stuff yet in the furnace. All right, we don't even have the correct sparks in here. So that's going a bit slower than it needs to go. Uh, but we've got the correct ones in now, crafty sparks to make these rocky sparks because that is that quest is going extremely slowly. Uh, but we just need what another, well, quite a few actually. I'll give up my 10. There we go. We're getting closer. We need another 90. So we're halfway there on the Rocky Spark creation. But I did bring some more of these guys. So hopefully that can continue on. Right, looking at our quests, the Mason Sisters require quite a lot of quartz. And we are getting quartz from over here. So might just stick the Mason Sisters a little delivery hut here. Let's just make this path go in there. And then they can start moving this quartz into there for them. That is not going to be quite enough space, though. Goodness me, we don't need these dosing stones anymore. We have so many of them. So I might actually, let's just get rid of this path for a second. Grab up that guy. Yeah, this can only hold 300 total. We need 600, so we're going to need at least double that for the quartz. So could make another one, I suppose. Just need to clear out a bit of space here. Ah, and go grab some more of the... Wooden uh, slabs as well. Oh, actually, we might have some here. Yeah, wooden panels we can grab here. That will continue that working, which is fine. And then we've got what we need to make another one of these. Let's pick up that wood. There we go. So that's another one for the Mitch and Sisters. So we can have that going in there. So they'll drop off to both of those once that gets full because there's still quite a lot to do. Bringing lots of quartz that way. So that'll come down in the baskets. Then they can pick it up and they can deliver. And that's actually that done except for the rock terrain shell and i 
imagine those are those mean guys that come out from under the stone. But the wooden fighter guys can't beat them, so it probably has to be the stone guys. But we still need those for other things. So let's leave that one for now, but at least it'll be half done. Now, the mayor needs path tiles, stone plates, and explosives. So let's go over to where we're making the path tiles already and see what we can get sorted for that. Everything is coming in. It's just coming in so slowly. So I think it's like it does all automatic. Basically, it's just a very, very slow process. Let's get this bee elephant while we're here. You never know when you need more of those bee elephant carapaces. Stone wheels, we just need 17 more. It's getting super close. The stone path tiles aren't coming in quite fast enough because the stones aren't coming in quite fast enough. All right, and there we go. That is now finished. So let's go speak to the merchant because we've got a quest completely done, which does feel very good. That has taken a long time. Actually, before we go, we just need to get this up for the next person because what we need now is... This being given to the mayor, so we're going to need a drop-off collection for the mayor. Uh, missing the wooden planks. I wonder if we have any of those wooden planks around here. Yes, we do have enough. Okay. Because for the mayor, we need the stone plates and the path tiles, so we don't need to be making any more of these. So let's just get rid of this for a second. And all the stone tiles that are spare need to go into here for the mayor, and along with the stone plates as they come in. All right, those are starting to come in for the mayor. What we do need, though, are is another mayor chest, and we should have one around. I think we made a couple for the mayor before, so we just need to go find one of those. We so need to just turn this quest in, because, goodness me, that has been a long time coming to actually get a quest turned in. Oh, and over here, I do need to actually pick up some ladders, because we haven't actually had any ladders in quite some time, so that will get these guys working again. Oh, and I also did need some of these wooden planks as well yeah this is the delivery chest for the mayor so can we just pick this up and then we're just gonna carry it back to where we were before all right now we've brought it up here let's just get it in place uh for the mayor is over here all right we will need at least one more container for the mayor because we want 600 path tiles that's going to take a very very long time but let's go turn this merchant quest in just need to wait for this waypoint to turn on and then we can just dash over there. Just, I think two carriers. There we go. So it does take a little bit of time. Would be good if we got the rest of the teleporters all hooked up, but I don't know if that's a job for today. All right, down over at the merchant, we are ready to turn that in. Then we're going to be able to make fabric at the loom. And I wonder what we're going to need in order to make fabric. That one is a job now done. So fabric crafting is a go. It looks like the mayor is, what, 21 away from being completed here as well, which is very, very close, but it is very slow going. All right, let's go check on these rocky sparks because it's still at 159 and it has been actually a little bit of time. So let's just see what more that they need over here. Now, it looks like this is still quite full. We can just top it up. I think the main thing is it's just a really long walk to get those carry sparks over here. Ah, and another problem. This is full, so that would be what's causing our current holdup. So let's take some out of here. That way he can continue to deliver those because, yeah, that's going to cause a problem. I didn't realize that this was full. So we could just drop these ones off ourselves to the Divine Researcher. We've got 30 in our inventory, which is going to be basically enough. By the time they keep going with that, should be good. Ah, this was also going to the Divine Researcher, and they've got more carry sparks than they actually need. So we will take those out for ourselves just over here somewhere nope down over this way there should be a teleportation stone so we can use this to get into town really quick so let's just open that up we will toss a couple pieces of wood in there and then let's teleport down here the only thing is that's not currently fueled so we're not gonna be able to teleport back all right into town over to the divine researcher let's walk over here we've got the rocky sparks we need in our inventory so we can just drop these off here ah no we're too short Oh man, okay, we we'll just have to wait a second for those to get finished build building. And then this is another quest that's finally, finally done. This has been taking forever trying to get anything done. There we go, one more needed. Come on, little guys, get it built. Because they're needing huge numbers of items for the different quests, they are taking so long. But there we go, we finally finished the Divine Researcher. That is now completed, which is great. So they've given us 10 Skelly Sparks and 10 Hauling Sparks. The hauling sparks could really come in handy. That means that the spark workstation now, we can also make the scouty and hauling sparks. And that is probably a really good thing. Now, the next thing that the divine research wants is puffy sparks, boomy sparks, fabric, explosives, and hauling sparks. And we haven't actually started working with any of that just yet. 
because we are able to make the fabric now and the explosives. We just haven't set that kind of off yet, but it might be time to go see about that. But I think we're going to have to do that in the next episode. And I think this one's probably a little bit on the shorter one, although recording time has been probably double what we would normally do because it has been just so, so much work trying to get these things all sorted and processed and ready to go. And Trying to stay on top of how we have things lined up has been a bit of a challenge and making sure we can, you know, actually hand in things. And there's a quite a lot of stuff that we're currently making or not even making that we don't need or things just aren't running, I guess, to the best efficiency they could. We're going to have to do quite a lot of work on that, I think. All right. And things have come over here to a grinding halt because the Stumpy Sparks it was completely full of our Shopping Sparks, so I've just built a bit of storage. I think this is what we need to do. We just need to have a bit more storage kind of around. And possibly, I think there is a storage that we can... This supply chest. Because then I think we can get remote access to it. And that would be really, really handy. So this might be something we have to look into building next, next episode. So that we can grab these kind of items from all over the map. But for now, I'm going to have to say goodbye. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.